All right, so in this video, we are going to be covering the other Extreme Z Battle event that will be dropping alongside the one for the Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And that would be this one right here for the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku, and STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta called Destined Rivals Saga 4. Now, I think for a lot of people, the other event is probably going to be a little bit more exciting just because, you know, we're talking about two Dokkan Festival exclusive category leads, whereas these guys are just general SSR pool units. But you should definitely not be sleeping on this one because these EZAs are absolutely incredible, especially the one for Goku, which is, I mean, to me, just strictly better than the Vegeta EZA. I mean, honestly, it's a bit of a shaft, um, but I guess uh, we're kind of used to it at this point, right, when it comes to Goku versus Vegeta. So anyways, uh, with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with the Extreme Z Battle event details first. And as you can see, the weakness or the effective category here is pure Saiyans. So if possible, you do want to bring a full pure Saiyans team or at least as many uh, pure Saiyans units as you can. And then taking a look at the levels, uh, this is a very standard Extreme Z Battle event. So there are 30 levels to get all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals. Uh, you're getting some orbs and Kai's along the way and also one Dragonstone per level. And uh, as far as the enemies go, you're switching between the Goku and Vegeta for the first 20 levels. So from levels 1 to 5, it's Vegeta. And then 6 to 10, it's Goku. And then it's the Awakened Vegeta for levels 11 to 15. The Awakened Goku for levels 16 to 20. And then from levels 21 to 30, you're facing both the Goku and Vegeta together. And keep in mind, that after level 15, they will get additional damage reduction of 70% against tech types and then 80% additional damage reduction uh, after level 20. So uh, it's not a great idea to bring tech type units just because they're basically going to do no damage after level 15, right? And once you do all 30 levels, you will be getting a ton of rewards such as 30 Dragonstones, five Grand Kai's for tech and SDR, a bunch of tech and STR orbs, and then all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals we need for both the God Goku and the God Vegeta. And then we also have a few missions here, just like for the uh, Gogeta and the Omega Shenron. These can be repeated twice, or rather once for each unit. So it's gonna be six total stones, uh, two Platinum Hercule statues, and also two Elder Kai's if you get both of them to Super Attack 15 and fully Extreme Z Awakened. So that is the Extreme Z Battle event for the Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Now let's jump over to the units themselves, starting with Goku first, because like I said, I do think he is quite a bit better. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, Goku's leader skill is Super Attack Types, Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100% Super Attack. Supreme Damage and Seals Super Attack. And uh, Passive is Key Plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 100%, randomly changes Key Spheres of a certain type to Rainbow Key Spheres. Attack plus 7% in addition per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. And Damage received minus 77% when there is a movie Boss's category enemy. Now for the EZA, new leader skill is Super Tech Types, Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. And then passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained reduces damage received by 77% when there is a movie bosses or pure Saiyans category enemy. So this is huge because before he was very useful in stages where you're facing movie bosses like um, a good example would be the red zone events, right? The uh, 
movie boss's specific red zone event where he's getting that 77% damage reduction against everyone. But now it's not just movie bosses, it's also pure Saiyans, which is one of the... Actually, no, it's the biggest category in the game, right? So literally like half the time, you know, against like half the enemies in the game. Okay, I don't know the exact number, but I'm just guessing. Like 50% of the enemies, um, he's going to be getting this... 77% damage reduction, which is insane. That does make him one of the best tanks in the entire game um, in those situations, right, against pure Saiyans or movie bosses. And on top of that, he can actually do some really good damage now because of the additional 77% attack uh, with two or more rainbow key spheres, which is not too hard to get because he is a rainbow orb or key sphere changer himself, so he can give himself those two rainbow key spheres pretty often. And uh, he's getting more attack and defense, 7% with every key sphere on top of that. And uh, he's getting a good starting buff anyways of attack and defense plus 150%, right? So this guy is just really, really good. Um, he's really useful. He's got a lot of utility in a lot of stages where um, if you're getting that damage reduction, he's going to be taking no damage. Like he's just not going to be, he's not going to get hurt at all, right? And uh, of course, he does get a pretty big bump in stats too, up to 14,400 HP, 17,018 attack, and 11,350 defense, which is really high for a non dokkan Fest unit. So, um, like I said, man, I'm really impressed by this EZA. I think he's actually good enough to be like a dokkan Fest EZA at this point. So, um, yeah, they really did an amazing job with the Goku. Now the Vegeta, um, as you probably would have guessed, is, uh, I mean, he's not bad. He's not bad, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say he's bad. I would never say he's bad because I don't think that's the case, but I don't think he's as good as the Goku. So uh, starting with the pre-easy A details, leader skill, super S stereotypes, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Uh, super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage. Passive, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 100%, high chance of guarding all attacks, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is a movie boss's category enemy. With the EZA, uh, leader skill is super SDR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, High chance of guarding all attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% for 3 turns after receiving an attack. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack, great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is a movie bosses or pure Saiyans category enemy. So here's the thing with Vegeta, his equivalence of like Goku's 77% damage reduction is a great chance to stun the attacked enemy which i mean let's be honest is like way way worse way way worse especially because there are more and more enemies in this game now that can't be stunned or sealed um or like really affected by any kind of status effect so a great chance to stun you know while like amazing for super battle road for example is completely useless in events like the legendary goku event legendary vegeta event um you know what else? Like most of the harder events in the game, that's not Super Battle Road, right? So, yeah, I don't love that. Um, and also, you know, we do have the high chance to guard, but at the same time, it's only 50% of the time. So guard is amazing, but if you can't rely on it, then it's not nearly as useful, right? So that's not good either. And then he also needs to take a hit to get this additional 77% um, attack and defense buff. So that means if you want to get the attack benefit, at least, you would need to put him in the first slot. And I don't love it when units kind of force me to do that, like to put them in certain slots to get certain effects, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Vegeta's good. He's good. He's going to hit really hard, too, in longer events because of this infinitely stacking, uh, greatly raising attack with every super. So I think he's still very good. I think the Goku is just strictly better. Um, and of course, that's my opinion. If you guys feel differently, feel free to let me know in the comments. But uh, I'm pretty confident in that take, honestly. So 
Uh, yeah, that is the Super Saiyan God Vegeta stats with the Extreme Z Awakening, 14,924 HP, 16,919 attack, and 11,000 and 11 defense. And of course, this is all at uh, rainbow status, right? So uh, that is the video, guys. We got the Super Saiyan God Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening and Tech Super Saiyan God Goku Extreme Z Awakenings on the way. Um, four total summonable Extreme Z Awakenings, four part two. And um, between the four, I think Super Saiyan God Goku might be the most like exciting one for me just because of how useful he is, um, especially when it comes to the uh, new red zone, um, you know, movie boss aside, like that's gonna be really, really useful. He's gonna be tanking like crazy, so uh, that should be really fun. But um, yeah, guys, that's gonna be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, you're stoked for all these easy A's. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.